Hi everybody, it's Brad with Big Family Homestead, and today I have a question for you. What happens when you take one of these and combine it with one of these? You get raging awesome, that's what. Today we are making waffle crisp donuts. All right, people, so I openly admit this video has nothing to do with homesteading in any way. And as a matter of fact, it goes against a lot of the things that we hold very near and dear, like no chemicals, stay away from process, blah, 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 as much as you can, right? Well, gotta tell you, sometimes you just have to let the inner chubby guy inside of you out. And he ran amuck when I heard about this recipe. So literally, don't do this all the time, but this is gonna be a thing of power and beauty, people. So basically, yeah, I saw this on a Pinterest thing and we're gonna try it out right now. The idea is you take a donut, donut, and you slap it in the uh, old waffle maker, smash it down and make delicious awesomeness. And we're gonna, you know, I think we're gonna put some ice cream with it too, because why leave it just like that, you know? So here it is, we're just gonna make it up, show you what it's like, taste it, and there you have it. All right, people, there's really nothing to this. You literally just heat up your waffle iron, carefully insert your donuts. Hear that sizzle, yummy. Soon to be rocking awesome. And now, the fun part, after I lick my fingers, the smashing, get in there. Get them locked down. Oh yeah. You will submit, donut, you will. I gotta tell you, people, I'm having a hard time not getting in there. I know they're not done yet, but it smells like, like funnel cakes. Oh my gosh, ooh, steamy. Mm -hmm. It is time to witness a miracle of modern science. Would you look at that? Oh my gracious, these are nice and crispy. I'm gonna get these off of here, plate them up, and show you what we got. This is gonna be ridiculous. Would you feast your eyes upon this? Miracle of miracles and wonder of wonders. Oh, yeah, but wait, I've got another idea Okay, so while that would be raging awesome in itself. I thought to myself chubby guy What would you do to make it even better? And here's the answer vanilla ice cream and caramel syrup check this out <laughs> Oh Yeah, look at that looky there looky there oh, and if you're like a chef you got to dribble some in like fancy schmancy stuff like that, like they do. I gotta tell you people, this is getting ready to be a spiritual event, I think. Check that out, here we go. Get a little ice cream. Can you hear that? That's the donut, the crunch of the donut, holy smokes. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh my gosh. This could be one of the best things and worst things I've ever eaten. It's crunchy and warm. It's kind of like the best waffle slash funnel cake thing. But the, I'll tell you what, I gotta go. I'll see you in a minute. Oh my, wow, that is really good. You need to try that. Get to your donut store or wherever you get your Dunkin' Donuts or whatever. That was awesome. And by the way, too, the funny thing was I bought them yesterday with the intention of doing the video yesterday, but time didn't work out. And actually, I think by it not being so, so fresh, it worked out even a little better. So maybe wait till the second day. I don't know. The funny thing is you may, you, you may, you may, be, 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 be. You may be asking yourself, self, why is Brad in a different location? I'll tell you why. Because when they smelled the family, they instinctively smelled and knew what I was doing. They flocked upon me and I had to get out of there with my donut or else I wouldn't have gotten another bite. That is delicious stuff. Try it out. Please pass the video around. Like it, subscribe it. It really does help our family out. I'm Brad with Big Family Homestead and you have an amazing day.